Hey, what's up, guys? TGF here. Just wanted to show the SkyScan system, uh, kind of an alternative to ISAN. Um, but again, this is probably not as good, so um, no uh, no harm done if you choose ISAN over this. This is a simple um, GPS system that I made just to get back and forth from one or two locations. Uh, to set it up, three nav receivers. These are small ones. You could use large. Uh, just a couple fields. This is described in the instructions in the GitHub repository. But basically, you just want to rename some fields. Um, you're getting these receivers to listen for certain messages, certain uh, transmitter messages. So we have west. We have uh, the gate, origin gate. And we're listening for the north. So uh, three, three receivers, they don't have to be positioned in any particular way, um, just as long as you have three, and they're set to listen for a specific message each. Next, um, we can talk about the YOLAL. Uh, please excuse my terrible cabling and piping. On uh, here, we have the SkyScan main program. It's only seven lines. Uh, basically just captures um, those signals we, from the receivers and does some math. And then in here we have a couple uh, additional programs on an advanced chip for uh, velocity, which is this, and then um, one basic chip for uh, location marking. And then I have some other stuff in here that's not related. And then one um, memory chip just with default field names. Okay, so three receivers, three YOLAL chips, and one uh, memory chip. And we can talk about the display. Let's warm up my gen so I can show you some stuff. Um, on the display, we have two buttons, one to turn on the system, and another one to mark your location. I'll talk about that in a sec. On here, you'll just see XYZ coordinates, You're probably familiar. Um, if you haven't checked out the GitHub repository, you should just to see how it aligns. Uh, we've, we've basically made the, uh, the, R, the uh, gate down there, the 000 marker. So that's where the coordinate system begins. And uh, we used north and west to align the X and Y. Um, and from there, we can, we can just triangulate any position that, that you can hear with the uh, transmitters, hear with the radios. The location marking uh, function, you basically just press if you are at a location you want to save to one of these slots down here. Um, you would just press it and it will save. There's a little blinking icon, hopefully not too hard to see, but it tells you where you're going to save to next. Um, and just as I'm recording, I'm thinking maybe we should, uh, maybe in a future update, I will take this switch and allow allow you to just switch which uh, slot you're saving to rather than just cycle the slots. Probably a lot more user friendly if you just want to overwrite number one or number two. So that'll be that'll come. Uh, that shouldn't be too hard. All right, so in terms of alignment and positioning, um, origin 16 is going to be the closest to north. So if your ship is um, parallel to to kind of the the row of uh, the ring of origin stations, and you're pointed up at 16, you're going to see positive Y, um, and you can look at the velocity. Yeah, so we're uh, we're pointed a little bit this way, but yeah, generally that is um, high. Y value and uh, you know pretty low or negative everything else. Um, so if I point it right at the gate, where are you, gate? Oh God! Uh, if I point right at the gate, they're gonna see negative everything. It's a little slow. It's not exactly real time, but it's uh, not more than two seconds behind. And if you point at say. You know, you want to turn your ship perpendicular and you want to go toward like t 
22 or 23, which I think is west or positive x, you're going to see high x, yep, and a low y and z. So if I'm trying to navigate, say I want to go to, um, sorry, that's hard to see. Let me maybe be, uh, update the uh, FOV here. All right, uh, let's say we want to get to 40, 40, 40. So we're at 36, 38, 37. So we're going to want positive in all directions. You're going to be flying away from the gate. So that would be like, I don't know if I point the gate maybe at the back of the ship. Let's, tr let's rotate so we're at origin 16s at the top. And yeah, like 19 or 20s on my right and left. And so this way when origin 16s is at the top, my pitch is, is really controlling the Y and yaw is controlling the uh, X and I'm just positive Z. I know I'm going away. So um, if I want to get to 40, 40, 40, I'll do a burn. So we're or a negative Y. So um, that means I should pitch up. We're pitched down, but if I pitch up, we're going to see positive Y and velocity. Yep, there it goes. And we're very high X. But say I like, you know, for whatever reason, oh, maybe we wanted to go to 30, 40, 40. I could, I could kind of yaw to my right, which is turning us toward negative X. We're going to get a lesser X, X value. So it all kind of makes sense. I don't know exactly how ISAN works, but um, this is a pretty simple system. You kind of have to um, be in range of those transmitters to really <laughs> to really get anything um, useful done. Uh, but yeah, let me know how it works, and hopefully in a future update I'll bring some, a little more functionality to the uh, saving locations. Thanks, everyone.